Today's topic is going to be about what is the difference between chemical sunscreen and a physical sunscreen and which one should we buy. For those of you all who are new to my channel, my name is Ashwini Priyadarshini Megur, also known as Avi, and I'm a PhD student in the field of biology. So today's topic is so general and I would like to keep it as simple as possible so that you can understand which sunscreen is really good. The thing about physical sunscreen and chemical sunscreen is that they both are having its own pros and cons. So the chemical sunscreens are the organic sunscreens and the physical sunscreens or else the mineral sunscreens are the inorganic sunscreens. The thing about these two is that they were specially designed for the protection against the UVA and UVB rays of the sun. So in the market, you can even find the combination of these. But to understand the basic science behind it is that if you avoid sunscreen, what happens is that the UV rays of the sun penetrates into the deep layers of your skin. And what will that do? That will trigger your cells. In the skin of color people, it actually triggers the melanocyte. And that's why the people start to have hyperpigmentation. And in the Caucasian skin, that triggers the wrinkle formation, the fine line formation. So UV protection is very necessary. If you compromise with that, then probably you are just inviting aging into your life. So let's talk about the physical sunscreens now. Physical sunscreens are something that makes a shield on the skin. So basically physical sunscreen, hence the name physical, creates a physical barrier on the top layer of your skin so that the UV rays just reflects and just bounces off. So it is not just gonna penetrate into your skin. When we say physical sunscreens or else mineral sunscreens, the most important ingredients that you will find is titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. So if these two ingredients are dominating, it means that it is a mineral sunscreen or else a physical sunscreen. So these zinc oxide sunscreens are actually uh, prescribed for the people who have acne, who have sensitive skin, and these actually help the bouncing off of the UVB radiation. So UVA radiation is actually protected by titanium oxide and that actually helps to reduce the signs of pigmentation and sunspots. Whereas the zinc oxide helps with the sensitivity and also acne formation. So this is how the combination goes. But the thing about the mineral sunscreen is that it can easily get washed off. So you have to do a retouch up every two hours. But in the case of chemical sunscreen, it is not like that. So that is also a plus thing when it comes to chemical sunscreen that it doesn't wash off that, that easily. But about this physical sunscreen, as it is causing a physical barrier on your skin, you have to reapply again and again. The, the Another thing is that these physical sunscreens leave a white cast on your face, which is like a big downer because if I'm a skin of color and I want to avoid this white cast, it is just impossible because this physical sunscreen have this zinc oxide and titanium oxide, which leave that major chalky finish on the skin. So you want to get rid of it. So the best option I would say is that use tinted uh, sunscreens. So the physical sunscreen that I absolutely love is from Color Science, and that sunscreen just rocks because it has this different tint to different skin tones. And there is this one tint that is tan, 04 tan, I believe. So that one is really good because I have used it and I absolutely love it. So other than that, there is another one that right now I'm using is from New Starter. It is also a physical sunscreen, absolutely amazing. Love it. It does leave a little bit white cast, but I mean, you just cannot avoid it because we are darker skin tone people. If you don't have any tinted, um, let's say sunscreen, we're gonna suffer. It is just the white cars that is just behind that physical sunscreen. That is why I, as I said, there are a few pros and cons for physical as well as chemical sunscreens that, that will just, you know, make you overwhelmed with the knowledge and you will think that which one should I actually buy. But um, I'm gonna give my honest opinion at the end. So which one is better than which one and what do I prefer personally? All right, moving to the chemical sunscreen now. So chemical sunscreen are something which actually sits or gets absorbed on the top layer of your epidermis. And this absorbs the UV rays of the sun and doesn't let it penetrate into the deep layers of your skin. 
and when it gets absorbed it converts the uv rays into heat and that actually is just quite alarming if you have a very sensitive skin so if you see these ingredients that is oxybenzone uh, evobenzone octisalate and there are a few more so these ingredients actually will sh confirm that the 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 formulation is a chemical sunscreen and there is also sometimes combination of the chemical as well as physical sunscreen and that is when you see the mixture of titanium oxide zinc oxide oxybenzone somewhere so that that gives a sign that yes this is a like combination of physical as well as chemical sunscreen so the chemical sunscreen is quite challenging for the sensitive skin type people. So chemical sunscreen actually doesn't leave any white cast as physical sunscreen does. So chemical sunscreen actually get absorbed into your skin and then there is like a shiny finish to it. So it is not like uh, as worse as physical sunscreen that you have to again and again retouch up and it is leaving a white cast. So you have to choose a tinted one. But in chemical sunscreen, you can use any of those and it can blend well with the makeup with the other skincare ingredients so that is why chemical sunscreen are much better choice as compared to the physical sunscreen in this case so there were two uh, ingredients that was banned by fda for because they were causing harmful effects in the chemical sunscreen formulation the two ingredients is the amino benzoic acid which is also known as a PABA and there is second one that is a troll amine salicylate so these two actually had harmful side effects when you are applying it on the skin sometimes these get absorbed into the skin and goes into your bloodstream and can have an adverse effect on your body so that is why uh, these two ingredients were banned and they were just maybe they have a better let's say protection against the UV rays of the sun but what is the use if it is causing problem to your body so these are present in lesser amount always in the skincare formulation if you observe if it is in a higher amount it also the other ingredients like oxybenzene and uh, avobenzene these do also have adverse effect if used in a higher concentration so the concentration is super low when you are formulating it into a chemical sunscreen i would like to now give you my favorite chemical sunscreen that i think i really like is the um, la roche posay anti shine so the the main criteria that i look for when i have to choose a sunscreen is that it should not have any sort of fragrance it should be essential oil free and alcohol free because i'm a skin of color person and anything can trigger my skin very easily and it can trigger my melanocytes basically leaving pigmentation all over my face so i actually cured my pigmentation for a very long time i had a lot of pigmentation around my cheek my chin so i have suffered a lot because i was not taking care of my skin okay i'm guilty well now that we talked about both of these uh, which one is better than which one so the the favorite that actually takes a crown for me is a tinted physical sunscreen it is just because the chemical uh, sunscreen for me does sometimes irritate my skin when it is very sensitive so i want to reduce that sensitivity and also the thing is that there are different ingredients in chemical sunscreen which can actually uh, does you know go into your bloodstream and stay there for quite some time so that's the reason why i don't really like chemical sunscreen that much but i do love uh, physical sunscreen i use it every day and uh, the thing about physical sunscreen is that i do have to retouch up every time but it doesn't matter for me it's fine for me i i do like to protect my skin in a much better way than you know just triggering it now and then so i love the color science one if you can lay your hands on it just go and grab that one color science sunscreen is the best for me and then there is neostarta which i'm personally right now using and i i don't find any negative side other than the white cast but yeah you can just you know let's say apply a tinted uh, compact on it as well so i do have a tinted sunscreen which is from avin which is also like a physical formulation i absolutely love it and it is my favorite of all because it does have protection against the cancer because studies is done by the avin company 
So yeah, that, that is what I love physical sunscreen more than chemical sunscreen, even though chemical sunscreens sometimes take the crown in some cases, like not leaving white cast and uh, also staying more resistant to water than the physical sunscreen, but still. For me physical sunscreen rocks because it doesn't get absorbed into my skin and it doesn't trigger my skin in any ways well to be honest i do apply chemical sunscreen at the winter time because there is not a lot of uv rays of the sun and i need still need protection so i do use chemical sunscreen when it is cold not when it is super hot in Vilnius and it is sunny so I do avoid that time the chemical sunscreen and I switch to physical sunscreen and in the winter time I switch to chemical sunscreen so that is how I like to wear it on my skin but I would say like choose what is best for your skin so that is it for this video thank you very much for watching I hope that you really liked this video and had a great time listening to what is the difference between these two sunscreen so if you did make sure that you hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon with another video bye